Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Father, we give you thanks. We give you praise. Uh, Lord, this morning, Father, thank you, God, for your blessings towards us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God, for giving us access into your presence, almighty God. Thank you, Father God, for your favor towards us. Thank you, Father, for saving our souls, for sending Jesus Christ to earth, who died a cruel death, resurrected from the grave, who is now seated at the right hand of the Father, making intercession for us. Lord, we thank you for the way that you have made, and we rejoice in it today, Father. Lord, we bless you. Thank you, Lord God. For the word of God that is quick, is powerful, is sharper than any two-edged sword. That word that penetrates the hearts, the boon, the marrow, knows the intent of our hearts. Lord, we thank you for the word of God. We bless you, Father. Thank you for the Holy Spirit that leads and guides us into all truth. Bless your people today, Father. Lord, myself and Janice, we stand, God, with your people. We, could, we pray, Father God, that you set them free in the name of Jesus Christ. Make them every whit whole in the name of Jesus. Whatever state that they're in, in terms, God, if they're, they're downtrodden, Father God, if they, they feel like giving up, God, things is not working right. Lord, you exist. You are God, that you can lift them up. You're the one that restores our souls, Father. And so this morning, Father, we break every spirit of discouragement. We come against every foul spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ is against you. We command them, Father Lord, that their head would be lifted up in the name of Jesus Christ. Meet their needs, Father. Heal their bodies. Heal their bodies. Cause blind eyes to see, the dumb to speak, the lame to walk. God, you can do it. This is what your word declares. Speak to your people today. Favor us, O oh God. Break them free from every depression, every spirit of suicide. We curse it in the name of Jesus. Anxiety. We break it. It's power in the name of Jesus. We destroy it by the power of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of witchcraft, we come against it, Father. Every separation, spirit of divorce, we speak against it in the name of Jesus Christ. We speak wholeness, Father, to your people, myself and Janice. We stand with your people everywhere. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may I decrease and you increase father in jesus name amen and amen praise god glory to god i hope that you are enjoying uh, the series that we've been sharing with you talking about god's righteousness uh, righteousness consciousness the favor that we have as people of god uh, uh, who decide to walk in righteousness and we are the righteousness of god not because of what we've done but we can declare that we are righteous because jesus christ glory to god what he's done and and even though he is our savior our king you know there is the bible talks uh, talks about how that he called us brethren Amen. He called us brethren. And so he is our elder brother. And that's that's what we need to understand. That is the relationship and that that knowledge that we need to have. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. And this is the knowledge that we need to have, that we are the righteousness of God in Christ. Understanding this, it brings a consciousness to us and it causes us to walk different. I promise you. And you would walk in victory and walk in the power and the anointing of God. And so uh, this morning we're going to look at, we're talking about deliverance from trouble. Deliverance from trouble. I heard uh, a man that I listened to by the name of Yubong King. He talks about you don't necessarily run away from trouble, but you run to trouble, right? When you, when you run away from trouble, it's always going to be there. But the way that you defeat trouble is that you got you to gotta embrace, embrace trouble, take trouble on. Because the Bible says that he is a very present help. In the time of your trouble glory to God and so we'll be reading the Word of God to be talking about uh, um, God's righteousness of Cyrus and, and, and today we'll be speaking to you about deliverance from the righteous is delivers is delivered from trouble the righteous is delivered from trouble and we're taking it from Psalms chapter 34 verses 19 Psalms chapter 34 verses 19 and it says here it is it says many are the affliction of the righteous many are the affliction of the righteous <coughs> many are the affliction of the righteous i'm not going to i'm going to stop there and then i'm going to come back to the verse of scripture just go into this many are the affliction of the righteous now here it is <coughs> for the children of god speaking of the children of god righteous people right here it is affliction now it comes from every point 
of the compass. Affliction will come from every point of the compass when it comes to the children of God. It comes to those persons who are walking in righteousness. The Bible says in the book of Acts, uh, chapter 14, verses 22, uh, 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 talking about it says, confirming, here it is, confirming souls of the disciples, confirming the souls of the disciples, and it says, and exhorting them to continue in the faith. Acts chapter 14, 22, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. Here's what he says, and that we must through tribulations, here it is, and that we must through tribulation, here it is, enter into the kingdom of God. We do not enter the kingdom of God apart from tribulations, but we enter the kingdom of God through tribulations through tribulations that's something that would that we ought to have in mind because there's a lot of times when we find ourselves when we when we are to this place in life where tribulations we are in the midst of it i'm telling you we begin to to look at it why me oh me how is this happening lord why this why that but there is a purpose in tribulation tribulation helps you to get to where you need to go but we have to go through tribulations to get to the kingdom of god through tribulations that's how we're going to e experience or go into the kingdom of god Acts chapter 14 verses 22 then now we go so many are the affliction of the righteous so we know the righteous is going to have many afflictions but here it is says when we speak of deliverance from trouble the last part of it says but the lord what he does he delivereth him out of them all many are the affliction of the righteous but it says but the lord delivereth him out of them all and so we're here this morning that you may be in tribulations but this is the joy that we can have that god is going to deliver you out of every trouble that you are faced with everything that you are up against he is going to deliver you out of the trouble now here it is the second part of it now whenever God himself, whenever he God himself, when he allows tribulations, here it is, when he allows, because he can, he can cause you to avoid the tribulations when it's not the time for you to do it, he stops it. But when it's time for you to go through a tribulation period in your life, it says whenever God has allowed tribulation, watch this, to do or to, 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 to bring you to this place, when God allows tribulations, to do here it is is perfect work he's allowing tribulation in your life to do its perfect work and it does its perfect work in purging us it does its perfect work in molding us it does its perfect work in shaping us glory to God and here it is after he has done after the tribulation served its purpose Here's what happens. Then now, the, God, the Lord, he removes the tribulation from us. You see? But, but tribulation has its purpose. It has its, it's, 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 it has its purpose in our lives. It's there to perfect us. Right? It has to do a perfect work. It purges us. It molds us. It shapes us. And after we have come to this place, this is what's going to cause us to get into the kingdom through tribulations. When we have come, when, when tribulation is expired, when the perfect work of tribulation is done, then the Lord, he removes that tribulation from you. He delivers you out of all of the tribulations. And that's where we can rejoice in this. We can rejoice in this as the word of God says, many are the affliction of the righteous, glory to God, but our Lord, he will deliver you out of all of your trouble. We can celebrate because God will deliver you out of all of your trouble. Let us pray. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for your word. Thank you, God, for the power of your word. Thank you for the encouragement of your word that brings to us, that says to us that in the midst of our tribulation, you shall, will deliver us. Glory to God. You will deliver us out of the tribulation. And it tells us that tribulations, it has its perfect work. It purges us, it molds us, and it shapes us the way that you want us to be shaped. And so, Father, we thank you for tribulations. We thank you for the trials. We thank you for the fiery darts 
that would come in our lives, O oh God, but it is to make us to what you want us to be. And so we ask of you for your strength through the spirit, through the power of the Holy Ghost to accept what it is, God, that you want to do in our lives that we will not complain in the midst of it, Father. And so we bless you today. Bless your people everywhere and favor them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My self engineers, we stand with your people. We thank you, Father, for your word today. Persons who do not know Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, and you know that you want to see God, you, you, are, you are living, you are not living a righteous life. And you know that living this righteous life or living not living a righteous life, if you were to die today, that you would not see the face of God. And you know that you're in the wrong place. You are on the wrong team. You know that you're on the devil's side. And you know that you should be on God's side. And you can say, I need you. Right where you are, you can bow your head and say, Father, I'm a sinner. And I ask of you, Father, to cleanse me, to wash me with your blood. And I ask of you, Father, to come into my heart. You said, if I confess with my mouth, believe in my heart that God raised Jesus Christ from the dead, you said, I shall be saved. So with the heart, man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. So Lord Jesus, I denounce the works of Satan, and I invite you to come into my heart. You said, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away, and behold, all things are become new. And so Lord, we thank you. I thank you, Lord, that I am saved in Jesus' name. And if you say that instantaneously, you are the righteousness of God. And so you can declare that I am the righteousness of God. Welcome into the kingdom of God. On behalf of my beautiful wife, uh, Janice, again, we thank all of you for watching, tuning in. Those persons who have not already subscribed to the channel, we ask you to uh, subscribe. Be a part of our community. We would love for you to be a part of our community. Um, help us to grow and to get the message of the kingdom out. Uh, persons who would love to be uh, a partner with us on a monthly basis or whatever you can do uh, to, to, to support our ministry, uh, we welcome you. And again, uh, you can go at paypal.me forward slash WWC44 and you can uh, give and support our ministry. On behalf of my wife, uh, Janice, again, we thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Share the message. And again, we welcome you and just thank you for being a part of our community. God has a desire for us to walk in righteousness. That righteousness that you will walk in is you will begin to experience the power of God in your life and you will walk in victory day after day. God has an awesome plan for us. Amen. Praise God. Have a great one and I'll see you in our next session. Okay, guys. Bye-bye now. Take care.